Science and Technology as well as Innovation Minister Dr. Blade Nzamande says South Africa cannot afford to ignore artificial intelligence and the fourth industrial revolution if it wants to keep up with the rapidly changing world. Dr. Nzamande was delivering the keynote address at the National System of Innovation Transformation Summit, which is held in Boxburg. He emphasized that these technologies impact the poor and should be explored for their potential benefits. SABC News reporter Ofense Stimo is at the summit and he joins us live from there. Good afternoon, Ofense. Tell us more about what the minister said about integrating these new technologies to help um, the poor in particular. Absolutely, and a good afternoon to you and your viewers, Diabo. I can tell you that one thing that he mentioned that actually struck a chord with me was that in as much as they are trying to address the injustices of the past in terms of inclusion of the majority of the black masses, he says there's still a fear of actually entering into science and mathematics, especially among the black learners. But the minister actually joins me now to sort of elaborate on that as to what he meant about that. Minister, thank you so much for your time. I heard you say that you face a predicament. You're trying to address the injustices of the past but at the same time a lot of the learners are running away from science and mathematics so how are you going to encourage them you know to get into uh, such a field well firstly I must say that there has been a continuing increase of learners even black learners who are taking maths and science but it's not enough it's far from enough of course that project is led by the Department of Basic Education to try and ensure that we get as many learners, not just to register for maths and science, but also to do well. We are working in support of the Department of Basic Education because it's of concern to us that if you do not have enough passes in maths and science, especially in metric, we then have a problem. And one of the realities we are facing is that there is still a level of fear of maths and science amongst black learners and even black parents, you know. Uh, some of the principals at school, they say, no, don't register for mathematics or pure mathematics, as they sometimes call it, register for maths literacy. We are not saying maths literacy is not important, but it's not pure mathematics. So. We have, in order to increase their passes because they fear that more of their students are actually going to fail. Now this is a legacy of apartheid that we inherited which we are dealing with and we have to deal with by making our youngsters to be interested in maths and science and also to be interested in science itself to see what science can do, you know, whether it's space science, whether it's astronomy, whether it's the square kilometer array and all those things. And also to say, science, math and science is not difficult. You have to work hard, you have to read, you have to practice more, and it's very important therefore that we defeat this thing of fear of mathematics, that uh, mathematics is too difficult. Absolutely. It's not the case. Absolutely, Minister. And I heard you say that, you know, uh, over the, the past decade, 4IR development has actually developed massively. And you're saying that if we're going to ignore it, it will be at our peril. Elaborate. Well, the main point I'm making is that any country today that wants to make progress, including on the socio-economic front, has to invest in science, technology and innovation. If you don't do so, you're going to be left behind we are actually not going to be able to catch up with modern technologies. New industries are emerging mainly out of innovation. That's why the focus here is innovation. New ideas of doing things that may lead to new economies, new industries and so on. Technology is now part of what we all do. And there's been huge differences since 10, 20 years ago. And the Differences now and advances in technology are even going to be bigger. Some people and some governments still think that investing in technology is a nice to have. It's not a nice to have, it's a must to have if we are going to be able to, to, to develop. That is why part of what we are doing as a department is to say one of our tasks and our mantra 
is to place science, technology and innovation at the center of government, at the center of education, at the center of industry and at the center of society so that all those key sectors actually understand that without science, technology and innovation, we're not going to make progress. As a, we're not going to be able to fight unemployment, for instance, because we need new learners with new knowledge, we need new university graduates. So that's why in education also we've got to mainstream science, technology and innovation. And the country is actually at the back foot, especially when it comes to development of technologies and uh, innovation because of lack of funding that was there, which is gradually increasing over time. How can you encourage you know, uh, potential sponsors to actually add more uh, finances in order to make sure that our country gets on par with our counterparts like US and China? Well, we need to do a lot more, even just investing in science, technology and innovation than what we are doing now. But I don't think it would be correct to say there is hardly much that we've done. A lot that we've done, and we've also got a lot of talent. We've got very good scientists in South Africa. They were leading in terms of handling COVID-19, for instance. They were the first to come up to say there is another variant of COVID-19, another stream that we actually need to look at. There is lots of innovation that is happening at our universities, for instance. The main thing is actually to support the small. But the other challenge is more partnership with industry. Because the private sector, unfortunately, over the last few years, has gone down in terms of the amount of money they are investing in research and development as well into science, technology and innovation. We need them to increase, but we need partnership with our universities, partnership with our department so that we are able to. In other words, what I'm saying, we're such a talented nation, by the way. Not only in music and the arts, but also in science. And if we are able to invest more, we will be able to harness all this talent for the betterment of our country. Absolutely. We've run out of time, Minister. Thank you so much. Well, as you can hear, that Science, Technology and Innovation Minister actually saying that more investment should be put into science, technology and innovation as there is talent that is able to put the country on par with its counterparts. And with that, it's back to you in studio. Thanks, Offensive Timo.